So this video is supposed to at least try and explain the creation of samples, creation of images uh, with which to work in a classifier. Uh, for those who didn't see the previous parts, please see them first so that this video sort of makes sense. So basically what we first want to do, I'm going to grab a picture into here, uh, is deal with a certain collection of images. In my case I'm dealing with cars. Uh, in case people ask why, the reason we want to do it is because we want to calculate distances between cars and then uh, be able to instruct uh, on a, an Android device the, the distance between the yourself as the driver and the, the cars uh, before you. So we get a collection of images here, all of them depict basically cars uh, in a fairly clean form and it, in addition to that we get some data on where the car is located in an image. So this is one example of a car, so we get you know one car here, we've got one car here and here, and we're gonna have some data, you know, to kind of put some bounded boxes around them so we know exactly where they are. Um, now we want to pass this data somehow to OpenCV so we can build a classifier. Now the way this is done and being digested is using the tool that I showed you in the previous part. If you didn't see it, just try and watch it now. Uh, and I'm going to just show you very quickly. Uh, the way uh, we are passing data to it, it's actually extremely simple, right? So if you are dealing with several images as opposed to one image and variations being created onto it, things like lights and position, things like that, then all you need to do is pass this very simple thing. Obviously, we create samples. Uh, you need to give an argument which is the vector and then some file. I call it vec because it just makes sense. And the info is another argument, info.dat. What is an info.dat? Well, I'm going to show in the next video. But basically, OpenCV creates up as a very simple tool. All it does, this is the output file. It's going to be vector and it's going to digest. It's going to use this stuff here, which is the argument, which is going to basically contain the list of the files and the positions of the objects in them. So it knows the, fault, it knows the, uh, uh, the positive images. Uh, you know which to use later.